everyone. I am so glad you guys got on this call. Took time out of your busy morning to get on. Um, you know, my name is Matthew Clark, all right? Um, quick story about me. I'm 27 years old, okay? Um, I uh, retired from my job, all right? I got on this business opportunity, uh, and it's totally changed my life, okay? Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, don't know who I am, don't know my story, uh, before I got on, before September of last year, I was working four jobs, okay? I was working at Costco. I was working at Starbucks. I was also working at ATL Picks, and I was a bartender, okay? Um, I got on. I, I applied myself really hard, and now this is what I do full-time, and my goal is to change as many people's lives as possible. For those of you who don't know, my mother has had four open-heart surgeries, okay, in the past, what, how was it, like 12 years, in the past 12 years. Um, I went to school, uh, graduated, and, you know, the, the problem I was having with having a degree, working on, you know, taking that is I could not get a job in my field. And I think a lot of us can relate to this. I couldn't get a job in my field. Um, I, You know, with me being in the city of Atlanta, everyone likes to capitalize off of interns. And that was my biggest problem I was having in this city. Um, that's why I was working four jobs with the bachelor's degree in film. It was probably the one of the most toughest times of my life ever besides me having to sit there with my mom and watch her go through all these surgeries. Now, I got on this opportunity, and I got on with a goal, okay? My goal was, one, I just wanted to supplement my income. Did that, bam. Now my life has changed, okay? Next thing is now I want to retire my mom, okay? My mom, she is 53 years old, okay? Uh, you know, because she's disabled, she, she can't do everything like she could. She couldn't go as far as she could. In fact, she had to put her dreams on the back burner. And I feel like, you know, as her son, you know, my mom raised me. You know, she took care of me uh, for 18 years. And I feel that, you know, I, m me being her son, I owe her that. I owe her, you know, she put her dreams on the back burner for me, so I feel like I need to help her attain her dreams, even at the age of 53. And that is one of my goals, okay? I wake up every day with the fire. I'm like, look, I'm going to change someone's life today. I'm going to go hard because what I realize is that if you – sometimes you have to use a vehicle to get where you need to go, right? Now – Depending on what it is, depending on what kind of vehicle it is, it can that ride can be a whole lot better. It can be a whole lot easier. For instance, for all you guys, you know, riding five miles on a bike is a whole lot easier than walking. So it depends on what vehicle you're using. And, guys, my whole life has totally changed 100%. Um, I'm loving it. And this opportunity has changed my life greatly, greatly. Now, one of my other business partners, his name is Quill, okay? He's going to tell you his story real quick. Um, and then what we're going to ask you to do is just pass the word on, okay? Hey, Quill, are you there? Absolutely, Matthew. Can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear, man. Awesome, awesome. Um, just a little about me real quick, you know. Uh, I'm 35 years old. I'm married, um, father of three. I have a beautiful daughter who's 14 and two handsome sons, uh, one eight, one three. But my life before this opportunity, you know, I'm, I'm the type of person who enjoys each day, each moment. But there comes a point where you, where you look up and, and say, you know, I'm better than this. And that's the kind of situation I was in, you know. Um, 
I'm a very, very, very quick learner. So, you know, whatever I've got into, I've learned it very quick. I was three sport athlete in high school, basketball, football, track, state championship state state champion in basketball, state champion in football. I just knew I was going to big places. My thing was I was going to the NFL. That was my plan. I, I went to college on a football scholarship, went away from home, came back because I just really I didn't I didn't like being from Atlanta. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. I didn't like being away from home, and the school just was not giving me what I needed. It wasn't giving me what I wanted. It wasn't giving me what I thought college was supposed to be. So I transferred. I was like, I can do this closer to home. So I transferred to West Georgia University, and there I started finding my creative side, and I fed into the creative side. Eventually I met my wife, got married, fell into married life. Wasn't able to create my feed my creative side. Wasn't able to do music. Wasn't able to do the acting that I wanted to do. I just became, you know, dad, and that was it. I didn't have time for anything else, and most I didn't have time to be a dad because I was working so much. I found myself laid off from the job that I wanted as a maintenance man because I wanted to train and be ready when I go into real estate to be able to fix my own properties. They laid me off because they couldn't afford to pay me. I found myself working at a doggy daycare. And it felt like I was in prison. Uh, they took my phone from me while I was at work. I couldn't talk to anybody. So I was just locked off from the world with 50 dogs barking in my ear with one other person in this room all day. And that's when I really came to a point and just was like, is this what it's meant for me? I mean, I have all this talent. I can do anything I want to do, but I'm sitting here watching dogs that can't even really talk back to me. And I mean, this is not the life for me. By the time I got off, I'm stinking. I just want to get in the shower. My kids are like, Daddy, 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 as soon as they, I come in. And I really just want to lay down because I'm so tired from dealing with all these dogs barking, 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 and fighting all day that there came a point I was like, there has to be more. So I started looking for an opportunity. I started looking for leadership, and I was blessed enough to find this opportunity after a lot, a lot of praying, you know. And one of the things that kept me driving at that moment was the memory of my grandmother. She told me never to give up on my dreams. And she told me this for the last time on her deathbed. And it has, it has really stuck with me never to give up on my dreams. And a lot of the lessons that she taught me, because she was like the major force in my life. Uh, my mother, um, she is uh, mentally challenge and she can't read but she can she's the most loving person I've ever met and she taught me how to love you know even when I was born they told her not to cheat me that she wouldn't be able to raise a child but against all odds she did I'm her only child I'm my grandmother's only child and my father he's a functioning crackhead to this day we don't speak we really don't have a relationship so my role model was me growing up people asked me who did I look up to and I said I looked up to me because I did, and I still do. So just, I say this not to impress you, but to impress upon you, in my family, it lies on me. For the generations before me and the generations after me, it's all on me. So I can't afford to play small. I have to win, and I have to win big. And the wonderful part about this opportunity, it has allowed me to do that and to help others do the same. Matthew, that is my story. Back to you, sir. Awesome, awesome. Guys, guys. Um... Well, that was awesome. That was a great story. Um, you know, what I tell a lot of people, you know, in order to get results you've never gotten, you got to do things you've never done. And, you know, for the longest time, you know, for the longest time, I know it feels like some people, you know, you can get caught into the system working a job you don't like, you know, waking up every day doing the same thing. And for those, for everyone who is on this call right now, I really thank you so much for getting on. But I'm not going to explain everything about the opportunity just yet because what I want you to do, everyone who is on this call right now, I would love for you to get 10 more people, if you can, on the next call. We're going to have a next call at 12 p.m., all right, 12 p.m. Eastern Time, and that's going to be in two hours, all right? So please, if you could, get some more people on the call. Our last call will be at 4 p.m., all right, guys? That will be me explaining everything about the opportunity. You'll be able to ask questions. But right now, what I'm just trying to do is just spread the word. Everyone, how is everyone doing today? Um, I'm glad you all came on this call. 
uh, you know, I would like to introduce to you guys um, two good um, business partners of mine who are about to speak, tell their story. Um, this guy, I've been knowing him for about, um, I think it was been four months, and I swear it seems like I've known him for years, years. Um, you know, he's been a great asset to my uh, business. And I just want him to tell his quick story on how this thing has changed his life. Hey, Mike, are you on the line? Yes, sir, I'm on the line. Can you hear me, Matt? I can hear you loud and clear, man. Man, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, what's going on, everyone? How's everyone doing today? Uh, my name is Michael McBride. I am a current founder three within Wake Up Now. Um, I got started about four months ago, like Matt said. And uh, ever since then, man, I've hit the ground running. I've been taking off and trying to make the best out of this opportunity uh, for my family and my legacy sake. All right. So I'm going to give you a little bit about myself. Um, I'm born and raised in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, I've never lived in any other state. Um, so um, moving on from that, man, I, I uh, about, I want to say about a year ago, I've, I've been addressed with this opportunity about twice, and I've had this opportunity up, all right, um, I've been in all different types of situations where I've been in trouble, uh, incarcerated, had, got felonies on my rap sheet, uh, bad criminal record, all of these bad things that I am not proud of, all right? And once I became a Wake Up Now IBO, I want to I tell you guys, my life has totally changed, okay? Um, minus the money. I don't even want to talk about anything concerning the money. Um, the most beneficial factor when it comes to this opportunity, when it comes to this business, it is simply the fundamentals and the skill set that I've been able to enhance with my life and applying it to everyday life with my previous business that I've already been doing and to enhance and grow my Wake Up Now business to where it has gotten me to where I'm a founder three within the company. Um, I want to let you guys know that regardless of your past background, whatever it is that you've done in the past, go ahead and forgive yourself for everything now and make the transition and make the change to become a better individual. With this opportunity, this opportunity is going to change thousands and thousands of lives, and it's already changed mine, and it's only been four months, okay? So I want to let you guys know that the dream is definitely real, okay, that change can happen, and an opportunity lies out here for everyone. It's all about who's going to pick it up instead of picking over it, all right? So that's just a little bit about myself. I'm going to go back and pass the mic. On over back to Matt, man. Thank you for having me, Matt. Awesome, awesome. Great story, Mike. Great story. Um, next person who I want to um, introduce you guys, his name is uh, Timo. And, you know, he's a great, great uh, friend uh, of mine. You know, we've, I've, I haven't physically met him yet, but he's been a great, great, great asset to my business. Um, you know, and I'm definitely can't wait to for us to go out and meet, hang out in California. Hey, Timo, are you there? Yeah, I'm here, bro. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate it, Matt, for having me on the call today. Um, I want to wish everybody, uh, well, over here in California, it's about 9 a.m., so I want to wish, uh, wish everybody, you know, a happy Monday, and, and I hope everybody is having a positive and productive day. Um, right now, I'm actually driving to go meet with one of my teams out here in the Bay Area. And, you know, um, if you guys, uh, you know, been tuning into these calls, the opportunity calls, the training calls, you know a little bit about myself, but I'm going to go over everything anyways, okay? So my name's Tim O. Wilson. Um, I've been in Wake Up Now a few months now, and um, a little bit about myself. I got into the uh, into the industry in 2009 and into the whole direct sales, multi-level marketing, network marketing industry in 2009. Um, before that, I mean, growing up, I, I, I mean, I, I didn't see too much else besides graduating high school, um, my family just graduating high school, graduating college to work jobs the rest of their life. And, uh, you know, one thing you have to understand, um, especially when you – get advice from your your the elderly or, or individuals, your peers or people that are older you older than you, you have to understand that the advice that they give you is advice that most likely worked 10, 15, 20 years ago. Because the first thing you know when it comes to making decisions about your life when you talk to your mom or your dad, 
you know, they're going to tell you graduate high school with a good grade point average, you know, take out some loans to go to college and then get in with a secure company, work with them for 20 years and then retire with a 401k. But what you guys have to understand is that that system worked many, many years ago. It doesn't work anymore. It's very rare that you find companies nowadays that, that that's really willing to employ you for 20 years and then take care of you after you retire. So, I mean, that's what I was told growing up. So that's exactly what I did straight out of high school. I went to um, Albany State University, which is in southern Georgia, with a uh, ROTC scholarship as well as an academic scholarship. I held, I held a great grade point average. I majored in business management because in the back of my mind, I always knew someday I wanted to open my own business. So my junior year in college, I mean, my eyes really, really opened up. Um, I was supposed to go into the military as, a, as an officer. Um, I was a year away from graduating and everything. And then uh, my brother had died overseas. And uh, that kind of turned me off with the whole military thing. So basically, I was relying on a degree to take care of me, you know, when I graduate. So then, you know, another semester goes by and I see everybody that I looked up to on the college campus that, that had already graduated or that was on track to graduating at the end of the semester, everybody was going back home to the neighborhood Walmart and neighborhood Target, you know, jobs you could get straight out of high school, going back to these companies to work for them for 10, 11, 12 dollars an hour. And that's something that I just did not want to do in my life. And then on top of that, you know, when, when you're in a classroom and you have a professor, you know, trying to, trying to teach you about business, you know, this man most likely, this man or woman most likely has never ran a business uh, 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 themselves. So, you know, I go by the quote, you know, a leader leads the way by example. You know, I'd rather follow somebody who's already running a business or somebody who's already successful in a business before I listen to a professor trying to teach me on a, on a chalkboard or on a, you know, on one of those, you know, things that you write with markers on how to run a business. So I was a college dropout. dropout. I dropped out of college. I immediately moved to California to the Bay Area where I had uh, witnessed, you know, a lot of opportunities. And this was in 2009. Um, my first two weeks being out here, I got hired on with a multi-level marketing company. Now, this company never, you know, did a background check on me. This company never drug tested me. This company basically told me, listen, you're getting hired on a clean slate. This is an entry-level position. We don't care what color you are. We don't care how old you are. We don't care what you've done in your past, all right? This is your opportunity to uh, do something with your life. So basically, if you make it through this tough training program, we're going to open you into your own brand location. So check this out, guys. When I started training, I was in training for 10 months. I was barely making $75 to $100 a week off commission, which is no type of money whatsoever. I was barely surviving. Ten months later, after I, I went through probably five, six, seven, eight thousand no's, um, had my family give up on me. Uh, friends distanced themselves away because I was focused on my success. Ten months later, I went to uh, I moved to Phoenix, Arizona, and opened up my own branch location. I had completed training. The year directly after that, I went on to gross in two hundred thousand dollars a year. Now, with this company, it, it didn't have everything that Wake Up Now has. It was a real basic multi-level marketing company where literally under one percent made it. So for myself to go through this training program on top of that, run a great branch location for the company, you know, I put myself uh, to the test. You know, I really, you know, was able to see what I was made of. So I was running that business for three, three and a half years. Um, in 2012, the summer of 2012 in Phoenix, Arizona, it gets 130 degrees out there over the summertime. You know, I had a lot of things go on with my business. And uh, at the end of the day, I just wasn't able to pay for the office spaces I had opened anymore. So I closed everything down. And uh, at the time, I had like $12,000 saved in my credit line. I cashed out my credit line. And I took a year off with $12,000, okay? moved back to California where my kids are. I literally took a whole year off just to relax, just to chill, you know, because working seven days a week, 12, 14, 16, 18 hours a day, even though this is required to be successful, it can catch up to you and burn you out. 
so, you know, my whole idea was moving back to California is that I just want to be around my family and I just want to live simple. I really don't want to take on network marketing uh, uh, in the near future, the whole idea. So I get hired on with this uh, headlight company making about four or five hundred dollars a week. Now, going from running your own business to going to basically an independent contractor, which is still, quote unquote, working for yourself. But at the end of the day, you're still working for somebody else's company. You know, I wasn't making the money I was used to making. OK, I still had the time freedom, but I didn't see myself going anywhere. And in December, the company started going under. So here I am with all these bills, um, the, the company I, I was currently with going under, you know, so I start opening up my eyes to new ideas. And that's when uh, I started seeing people on Facebook talk about Wake Up Now. I actually had a friend I graduated with, uh, Banneker High School, right in College Park. His name's Kirkland. You know, I see him, seen him marketing this Wake Up Now thing, but I never took the time out to see what it was because I was comfortable in the situation I was already in. So right when things start going bad, which is, you know, human nature, we really don't look for opportunity, you know, until things in our current lives start going under. Um, I hit Kirkland up and I ask him about this wake up now thing. He gives me the rundown and uh, I was like, okay, give me a few days. You know, I did my research and my whole mentality was if I'm going to, you know, do this wake up now business, I'm going to give it my all and I'm going to take it to the top like I did my previous company. So I told him, I was like, look, man, I know with most network marketing companies, your job is to sell, your job is to pitch, your job is, you know, to sometimes over pitch the product. And uh, when a member signs up, they normally don't get everything you tell them that they're going to get. And normally they're not going to get to where they think they're going to get to it. You know, you're selling them dreams. And this is not something, you know, that I'm really looking forward to doing if it's one of those things, you know, like most of your leads will tell you. But uh, he was like, no, Tim, I can assure you when you sign up, you know, if you build, you know, if you build your team, you know, just 12 people, you'll start making a $600 residual income. You're going to get the free identity theft protection. You're going to, you know, be back to being a business owner. So you already know how the taxes work. We have all these financial tools to help people save, manage, and make money and get out of debt. So I was like, cool, let me hop on. I signed up. And the minute I signed up, I got every product and service that he told me I was going to get. So right away, I had a good feeling about the company. I was like, okay, I signed up. I got all these products and services exactly to the T, what Kirkland told me I was going to get. Now it's time to start sharing the experience. You know, and I, and, and I shared the experience with everybody I knew, my warm market, my friends, my family, even people I didn't know. And let me tell you, I was getting a great response because, you know, there's thousands of people in debt that are just, that are just looking for a way out. Now, um, you know, the reason why I've been in Wake Up Now a few months and, you know, I'm making a, a pretty cool residual income, the reason why I'm sticking with it is because, you know, right nowadays the economy is bad, okay? Nowadays, you know, there's very few individuals out there that's willing to help you get to where you want to go. And when Matt said, you know, uh, 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 he hasn't physically met me, you know, he's 100% correct. But, but by the way, you know, we talk to each other and with the relationship we've already established over the phone and online and, and through Skype, et cetera, and how we talk, um, you would think that we've already known each other for a few years. And, you know, there's a lot of things that come with this business, including relationships that you're going to build with individuals across the country, maybe even, you know, across the globe. You know, there's a lot of things that come with this membership, with this business that we really don't tell you about. It just happens. So I look at it like, you know, if I would have never joined this business, I wouldn't have such a positive circle around me that I have now. Okay, if I wouldn't have joined this business, I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to, you know, spend every weekend with my daughter, you know, spend any given day throughout the week with my daughter, um, really do just about anything that I want to throughout the day without having to wake up early and go clock in at a job, you know. If I wouldn't have uh if I wouldn't have joined this business, I mean, who knows? I mean the last company could have went under and I wouldn't have any money to pay my bills, et cetera, et cetera. You guys know how everything goes. So, you know, what I want to leave you guys with is that 
sometimes you just got to take a risk. Sometimes you just got to take a chance because, you know, when you talk to people that are 10, 15, 20 years older than you that are not in the situation that they want to be and physically they can't go back in time and, you know, physically they can't start over because, you know, as you get older, your body starts to get older, you know, your bones start to hurt when you're 50, 60 years old. You know, those individuals will tell you everything that they would have done different with their life if they just wouldn't have passed by an opportunity. But I want to thank you guys for getting on this call, and I really do want to thank Matt for having me speak. I just wanted to share my experience with you guys, and I really do look forward to connecting with everybody on the call and looking forward to especially you new people joining the team. Thank you, Matt. Awesome, awesome. Great call, great call, great story. Um, So, guys, here's what I want you guys to do, man. I want you guys, you know, for everyone who's on the call, we're going to have another call at 2 p.m., all right? This call is going to be epic. Now, what I want everyone to do is go out, pass this number, and try to get more people onto the next call. Um, And let's spread the word because, um, you know, someone told me, you know, it's kind of selfish to keep great opportunities to yourself. And I take that full 100%. So, guys, spread the word. Let's get it cracking. Let's get it going. And, you know, let's change people's lives. All right? Thank you, guys. Have a great day. See you at 2 p.m. Um, he's a good friend, good business partner. Um, he's going to tell you his uh, story and why he decided to get on this great opportunity. Hey, Greg, are you there? Yes, sir. I'm here, man. What's going on, bro? Doing pretty well. You have the floor, man. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah, mm-hmm. man. Uh, basically about me, man. My name is Greg. Um, there's nothing special about me. I have no accolades. Uh, barely got out of high school. You know, just passed with flying. You know, you know, just just barely making it out the door. Um, dropped out of college. You know what I'm saying? Uh, actually worked for a company called uh, Miller Lite. It was actually a distributor for Miller Lite, and um. I worked really hard for that company for about three years. I would get up in the morning, be at work at 5 a.m., work all day, sometimes not getting up until 6, 7 p.m. at night, five days a week. You know what I'm saying? I, I got yelled at for moving too slow, got yelled at for moving too fast. Um, I worked my butt off to get a promotion so I can get to the next level, get a management position, get more pay. And I got a promotion, but I got a lateral promotion, which means I got more responsibility and not another dime. So um, I had more responsibility, more hours, all this crazy stuff. And I ended up getting laid off. They found a way, a loophole to lay me off without paying me a severance package. So I ended up losing everything. I lost my crib, lost my car, lost everything. All right. Uh, And the same thing growing up, the same thing happened to my father three or four times. Um, I got family members, aunties and uncles. It happened to them as well. You know what I'm saying? So I decided, uh, this happened about two years ago, and I decided and that, that two years ago that I would never, ever work for anybody again, and that I would find a way to not have to work for anybody again. Um, and I found Wake Up Now uh, back in December. <clears throat> I seen uh, my, my friend Matt getting involved with it. He was seeing success. He's always talking about it and getting excited. So I did my own little research before I even reached out to him. Um, and I seen the same thing, a lot of success, a lot of people, you know, living this lifestyle that I wanted to live. Not only that, but these cats were younger than me. You know what I mean? I told myself, if I can do it, I mean, if they can do it, I can do it. You know what I'm saying? So I reached out to Matt, man, and ever since then, this opportunity has changed my life. You know, all the benefits and all these things that we get uh, through this company is is second to none. Not only that and beyond that, um, what I like most about this, this, this opportunity is the people that you're around. You know what I mean? Like, this company is a loser repellent. You know what I mean? Like, losers will leave your life. You feel me? And it's it's the people that you didn't know were losers that will leave your life. And I've been lucky and blessed to be surrounded by some business-minded individuals um, that, that are there to support me, you know what I'm saying, to push me and hold me accountable for all my dreams and goals. And, and I've, been able to been, I'm, I've been able to double my income um, and change my life. Uh, I'll be able to retire my mom soon. Um, to put my baby sister through college. And to me, that's what it's all about. You know what I'm saying? Everybody has their definition of success. But my definition of success is to be able to take care of, take care of those who 
took care of you at one point. That's my de- definition of success. And Wake Up Now is 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 leading me in that direction, and that's very exciting. Um, but this is a once in a lifetime opportunity, and I strongly encourage everybody, you know, to take advantage of it and get people on this call, um, and 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 share this opportunity. But that's all I got to say, Matt. I appreciate it, man. Awesome. 